Alright, let's go make Mana happy. Actually, do I have levels to spend? I might have levels to spend. Let's double check real quick, because I did a mission, but I don't remember. That's the wrong menu. Gifts. Nope. Nope, because it wasn't a main mission, I think, and nobody level hit the right level or whatever. This is a quick re a little recap thing. So I had a little bit of spare money when we got to this floor. So I don't think I showed this part, but I did get a little bit. You might have noticed that uh, show seemed weirdly hardy. And that's because he's got a vit boost. He's got a vit boost in there. I don't think anyone else has a boost, do they? Let me remind myself. No? Ah. Mana has a shock absorber, which specifically makes her resistant to melee attacks. Uh, and so does Ajito. Yeah. Everyone else still uses, uses barrier tech one. And I gave show one vit boost plus. I'm alarmed. I feel like I might be horribly under equipped because uh, there are so many. Look at these. Everyone has two app slots and a gadget slot and a weapon slot. And every floor, I have just enough money to upgrade everyone's weapon to the new weapon. And I don't have, like, any money to buy anything else. And then it gets to the next floor and the pattern repeats. And I'm like, when am I supposed to be buying these other upgrades exactly? Like, maybe for some characters like Sohiro, maybe I could, like, just not buy their new weapon next time and buy some, like, boosts for them instead and just make them not good at fighting or something since they're already falling behind. I don't know. It's weird. I don't want to grind necessarily, but I look at the money and I'm like, I don't have it. <laughs> That's a problem. So this is our first companion quest. It's for Mana, of all people. I don't have a cute gift, but when I'm with Sho, it's okay. Mana feels power welling from within. What? A cute gift? I think it's just a fight? Yeah, regular fight. Six people, kind of in a circle. Enemies are level 16, just like us. Uh, there's an Arbus. Arbarus. But these are the previous enemies, aren't they? Aren't these the older versions that were shittier? So four drones, two melee attackers, two ranged attackers. The, that ranged attacker there and there, so they're surrounding us on both sides. These melee attackers are just kind of kind of jammed in here, and then the drones are just kind of split amongst the group. And there's one of our bar bar our Okay. Sure. This might be an easy-ish mission, given that it's a weird side thing, so it might be a good time to do this anyway. Um... I mean, I pretty much want to do exactly what I was talking about before, right? Like, take the same team, but then swap out Ajito for, let's say, Yoko? Or we're gonna go for the Spellcaster guy. Let's do that. So... So, Hiro, Nagi... I don't remember these people. So, Hiro... Nagi, Toya... Marco? Hito, Nagi, Toya, Marco. Yeah. So, that's the replacement we're going for. And I'm gonna see what impact that has on the overall layout of things. What order should I put people in? So, Hiro should be near the middle of the group. Away from enemies, probably. Marco should be the other one that's kind of away from the group. This is Nagi and Toya. This is Mana and Sho. I could probably go with that. Probably. Sure. What could go wrong besides, like, you know, most things, really? Shall we shove off then? Now, I don't know who you blokes are, but you take a deco at me. But take a deco at me. What? The, what? I don't even know the slang now. No one looks at me all weird when I use my power here. It's not like we normally give you weird looks. That power is one of your unique characteristics, after all. Deco? Deco? Let's go. So we're back to being in streets again. I didn't really fully take the setting in until after it was gone, and then I'm suddenly like, oh yeah, it's just, we just stopped being in streets. I got kind of used to that. So sniper right behind, oh. Here I am. 
I go. <laughs> Move out. Is the other one closed? They're both closed. So I have to open them by pressing that button, probably? Okay, that makes the beginning part easier. Defeat all enemies. Oh, shit. Okay. Good news, 3,000 energy, 10,000 experience, one gift XP. Bad news. All allies defeated, or or show or mana is defeated. Okay. Good thing I checked. Crap. So if show or mana go down at any point in the entire level, we instantly lose. Great. Great, 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 great. Hello, drone. Well then. Are you already in attack range for this guy? Why can't you just already be in attack range? Dang it. They just make our little team up so convenient. All right, well, can I attack this guy then? Yep. And it really doesn't affect... This stops him from countering, but it might do less damage. I should probably just hit him. Let's just go for it. This one will hurt. Not good enough. Oh, I'm sorry. How'd that work Let's out for this. you? <laughs> Move out. I probably should have gone for a back attack. You're off Double I miss. That's great. Let's do this. Fantastic. We're not in attack range, really? Might be able to get behind him. Get that back attack in. No. Oh. Really? Ah, I don't think I can fix that. Could do that one. This won't lead to an assist, though. It just leads to a lion attack. Agony. Agony. Not in defer range, either. Alright. Damn. She's just kind of scary. I... I need to. Oh, really? Ooh! Didn't matter. Awesome. Come on. Make a count. Oh. He's gonna hit him, isn't he? Yep. Unfortunate. I only downed one of them. And of course you're gonna double up. Huh. Oh weird the music cut out. Really the music's just gone now. Ah, not good. Did the music artist die? Yeah. What hath befallen us? Oh it's weird how it's just gone. Let's go. Oh welcome back, music. How you doing? <laughs> Weird. You can't shoot back because I'm too far away because I got a pistol. I need to. Get that back attack in? Not quite. Maybe? Oh, it is a back attack. Oh, yeah. Come on. Really? <laughs> Two misses in a row. I'm like, you can't keep this up on me, can you? That's just mean. How's the party looking? Toya could use a heal. I'm gonna get into attack range. And then do a mass renewal. Let's see to those wounds. Thanks. There you go. Commencing assault. Yourself. This one will hurt. You're off target. 
Well then. You're not going to last much longer. That takes care of that. As expected from your lead, even with so many powerful enemies. No. Leading a battle as a first tr uh, leading a leading a battle as a first for me though. Observing how the enemy moves and cutting them off tells me how we should act. That is ace, mate. Everyone is is blinding thanks to your leadership. Right now I'm probably the cutest I've ever been. Right, show dear? What do you think? I think you can joke around after we defeat the remaining enemies. Let's move. I'm cute. Do you get how cute I am? Cute, 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 cute. My entire thing I care about is how cute things are. Cute, cute, cute. Let's do this. I my, the thing I my brain always goes back to is that damn thing in Duncan Ronpo where people just keep saying hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair. I'm like, you could write, you could use other words eventually in this story, you know. It's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't hold it against you. Yeah, I figured it'd be both at once. So as a recap, this is two melee dudes and a drone. That one's just a drone and the boss. So ideally, I could just kind of run around over here. Move out. Just well, focus on the, the I, melee users. I need to. Like this nice area of effect attack that I've got. Wouldn't that be a nice candidate for pain? Go. This is my chance. I can keep going. I'm about to push you to your limits to just sort of skip through at dealing with these enemies. Just break. If y'all could just politely die for me. Me too. I'm a little tired. You can be a little tired in hell. That's not how that phrase works. Triple, not a triple kill. One of them's still alive. On my way. Awkward. Commencing assault. Awkward. Awkward, but this character has absurd range. No. She's slightly close, closer, so if I run straight towards her, I might be able to make it. This is where having an explicit maximum range that I can see instantly would be nice. Ah, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think this is the best I can do, is just try to defer the... I can't defer you because your turn's not over yet. On my way. Eh. Ooh, you haven't deferred yet. Commencing assault. That's how I make this work. Then let's begin. Just watch as I On press every wrong button for a second here. A concerted strike. Understood. There we go. Now you can close the gap. I don't want you getting an attack off, say. Get out of here. Hostile down. There we go. Then let's begin. Now we're down to one drone and other other dude. And I'm just gonna run away for a second so I'm not the only character in attack range. Let the mech come out and play. Let's go. <laughs> Commencing well. assault. Marco's still at 40%. 20% of 
20% per Searing Blast. I feel like I can make this work. Let's do this. Here I go. Me too. I'm a little tired. Listen, Marco, you're about to be in pain. Sorry. No. Let's do this. My chance. Don't worry, I'll manage. <laughs> Closing the range is hard. Recovery. Huh. That enables a heal over time on her, and also she has like nothing else to do with her Come turn right now. Really the main motivation. So feel good. On my way. That guy's half down. Well then. On my way. Strike. I, I'm exhausted. That's fine. Tw uh, thirty percent sanity. You're still not there. Listen, I'm trying really hard to wipe you out. All right. Well then. You keep regaining sanity. This is this plan not gonna work because he like regained sanity or something along the way? Son of a bitch. Yeah, he's down there, but he's not like down there, down there. And Nagi's plenty full too. I can give her a chance though. Understood. She has a really high cost of one, so I might be able to make her go insane right back here, where she wouldn't be likely to attack anybody besides the one I want her to. Oh. My costs are all down, aren't they? This used to be 50%. That must have been a temporary boost that went away. Interesting. All right, I guess we'll just start attacking him then. So I'm I'm in melee. I'm in a normal attack range, so she'll assist. Move out. There's some damage. Thankfully, this guy's easier to fight because he's not the big tanky one that doesn't take damage from anything. So really, the the insanity stuff just isn't as ne necessary. But I just thought it'd be fun. Uh, I thought he was gonna get counterattacked to death. Let's go. Person most in need of battle ranks. Uh, Marco, I believe. He's out of the range. Cool. Goodbye. Right. Mission clear. <laughs> you really are strong, show. I can barely keep up. No. That's certainly not the case. You're just as skilled. I knew you'd say that, mate. You don't treat me any differently. You don't tease me for having superhuman strength or using brute force. Because you're strong as well. Perhaps I've been waiting for someone like you this whole time. Someone who'd accept everything about me, including my strength. I... Say, 
Even if... Even if you were the traitor, I wouldn't vote you off. Rather, I'd join you. What? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I am a comrade to those who accept me. That's what I mean, mate. But... Mana. <laughs> Let's head back for today. I'm knackered from the fight. Find some time and chat me up. You'd better, alright? Alright, see ya. You won't vote for me, even if I'm a traitor. Is that where your values lie, Mana? Two research reports on her. Oh. What if... What if Sho turns out to be a traitor? What if he's the last traitor? That'd be how you do a big climax story. A climax at the end of the story, right? Marker got 17 points. There's some ketchup. Ooh. The number of people who, le who level up at a given time are getting more limited. We don't have much of a choice. Someone in this group is a traitor. Hey, show, come here a sec. I was thinking about this traitor stuff. It's gotta be Yoko, right? Well, let's look at my current lineup here. <sighs> we got three! I gotta review my logic from before, because I this is a separate session. Ah, shit. So, it's the same party, except I traded Marco for a Jito, and the, the number of traders went up. And I decided that either a Jito... Yeah, because of the lineup, it's either... It's one of these three has to be a trader. One of these three has to be a trader. And then one of either a Jito or, or Sohiro has to be a trader. Not trader, voices. A, a, a false positive or positive or whatever. Um... I said that if it went down, that would mean that both Marco is safe and that Sohiro is safe, because that would mean that I had traded a Jito out. If it stayed the same, that would have meant that I had traded... If it's if it stayed the same for me trading out a Jito, that would have meant that uh, both he and Marco were safe and that Sohiro was the traitor, or the, the voice, because nothing changed. And if it went up, that means that I added one. Which means that on top of one of these three being a traitor, that also means that Marco has to be red, and so Hero has to be red. So you're safe. You're red. I now have two of the reds identified. Okay. Who else is safe? Right, you guys are safe. Because we've, we, we, we've determined who of the first team was the red, which is Marco. We've just determined who of the two, of the pair is red, which is Sohiro. So we just need to figure out which of these three is red. Okay. So what I need to do then is I need to either take an all-innocent team, which is almost impossible. I need to take an all-innocent team with different members of people from this group, basically. And then we can figure out which one of them is, is the other red. And, uh... It's okay if I take Sohiro or Marco with me, because I, I'll be able to tell instantly who they are. Uh, I can account for their total. So I, so I don't have to worry about them messing up the data now. I'm pretty sure my logic is sound and this is all correct. I think. Yeah, it matches up with why these are two, and why these are two, and why this is three. I just need to figure out which one of them it is. <sighs> it's not a nice lineup. <laughs> so, Mark... I'd probably, as from a mechanics standpoint of which character I, I could do without, it's probably this guy. The guy that's like the leader dude or whatever, what's his name? Toya? I could probably go with losing Toya the most out of this crew. But I'd prefer... It's still a bummer, though. Yeah. 
Mana's really good, so Hero's really good. Nagi's really good. Marco's got a relatively powerful attack he's using right now. Anyone could deal- I guess anyone else could use it, but I think he has an aptitude for spellcasting that some characters don't necessarily have. Right now, everyone is against Zenji, Yoko, and Ajito. Which are all the innocent people. Well, shit. Well, the good news is I've clarified that it's not Yoko, so I can tell this person that no, it is not Yoko. I don't think so. Huh? What the... whatever, man. No one listens to me. <laughs> I give them this feedback and then they don't change what they're voting for at all. We've come this far, but I still don't get it. What's the end trying to do? Even if he destroys the world and makes us suffer, I don't think it's any fun for him. No. Maybe he isn't doing it for fun? Hmm, I see. So he doesn't do anything fun or cute. What an amazing person the end is. But I'm still taking him down because he's not cute. Like... It's like female anime characters just aren't allowed to be human characters, and they're just always- they have to be insane. Just insane. Moon people. What is it? Do you... need me again? Let's talk. Okay. Alright, I'll join you. I mean, I can't really say no, can I? Oh. So what's your reason for talking to me? Please be honest. I'll be as clear as I can. <laughs> I don't have one. I just want to become closer with you. Why? W why? That's ridiculous to want to get close when you and I might kill each other. Why? I don't plan on having a, a kill-off with everyone. Rather, I consider you all allies who will defeat the end together. Such a... naive sentiment. Okay. My parents, well... They aren't really my parents, they adopted me. But they're nice people. Or at least, that's how they act. What? What do you mean? Well, they treated me nice, I mean. They didn't abuse me or anything. But, but they were merciless towards other people. For generations, my family was rich from the oil industry. We always had people around us. My parents always treated them like garbage. But, Maybe they couldn't help it. I mean, people were always just looking for money. People only think about others. It's just human nature. I wonder if it'd be better if those people didn't exist. Is that- is what the end's doing really all that bad? Destroying the world and all? What? What are you saying? But- Saving the world is, well... Is it worth saving? I was supposed to fight just to preserve that sort of world? Marco. But- Hey, don't worry, I don't plan on interfering with the plan. I'll do what's expected, it's just- Motivation. Heck, if I don't pull my weight, I'm sure everyone else will just kill me. No. Of course we're not going to do that, except for all the people that will totally vote for whoever they think is contributing the least. I'm not so sure. You can only speak for yourself, not the others. Ah, do you see now? This is me, this is who I am. Okay. I don't plan on getting close to you or the others. It's all just one big chore. Please just leave me alone. Don't involve me anymore. But... Marco. Isn't that way of life a bit too lonesome? Now Marco's happy, according to that thing. No, it's not. Well... At, le at least that... <laughs> so we have two people that are like, is the end even doing the, a bad thing? Which is a concerning thing when we with this roster of people. Ah. Like, he's a dick, but at least Zenji's on the right side. And he's not talking about just turning around. I keep forgetting what my character's dressed like, and it's amazing. He looks incredible. Uh... Hey, so he's good. Everyone's past normal now. The only neutral character is dead forever and never coming back. Wow. Wow. Whoa! Battle results got really disproportionately massive when I... 
I don't remember us being at like 900. Holy crap. Meanwhile, Zenji's at 134. I don't know how you ever fix that. Jesus. So, Zenji, Yoko, Ajito, Marco. How reasonable of a party is that, I wonder? So, Zenji, Yoko, Ajito, Marco. Not Marco. Can't use Marco because I need to use one of the yellows and I want to probably have a healer, but that's a problem if the healer turns out to be the bad guy. But also he's the healer, so like I like having him around. That whole trap. Ah. Let's just level everybody up. That's not the level up screen. I don't know why I always think it is. It's too bad there's not a second healer to cycle through. The target attacks you, attack them first. Kind of just want to keep putting points into that, frankly. A low chance to instantly kill the target. Decrease movement. Increase an ally's crit rate. There's some not terrible options out there. But combat senses is just really... It's a really good skill. Is it bad that I want to just max this out? It preemptively attacks people that are about to attack me. That's incredible. Let's see. I'm not taking you into the next fight, so let's unequip Pyrokinesis. Just pop it on you. Oh yeah? Extra long-range shot. I was building towards something, right? Oh yeah, I can afford Tempest now. So it's an area attack. That stuns mech-type units, or has a chance to, at least. Hell, stunning a mech would be fantastic. Just make them skip a turn. I believe that's still what it, what it does in this game. It does that in most games. Barrage is a super strong attack. Recovery adds regen. Let's get that. I keep, especially since I keep forgetting I don't have it already and thinking and trying to use it. Whoops. What's down here? Quantum Blade. Use gravity to suppress an enemy and perform a melee attack that cannot miss. That's where you start getting the buffs for the gravity attacks. I mostly don't use those types of attacks. I need to go down here if I want to upgrade Kinetic Mastery. This is his, her first AoE attack. If I want to go forward, it has to be at least level 2. So let's just go ahead and grab that now. There we go. Hello, healer man. Could buff up that mass heal. Whoa! No! <laughs> Gain 10 power and increase its... It increases the GP by more than 100%. It goes from 20 to 50? Ugh. Ooh. No. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're going towards that revive. Next time. I would like to... If, if I could just get revive before he dies, if he turns out to be the traitor, then that'd be great. Because then I could at least have somebody that has revive in the party. Probably the main character, frankly. It's a really powerful thing to have. Here's them. Go to go through and get stabbed then again. Can't restore ally sanity yet? Oh, she doesn't have a point to spend. Okay. Ready for the next run. Let's take a little interim. Tips. Because I remembered I'd, I have these, these mono documents. Evaluation, one out of two. Test subject, M003. Laboratory Room Epsilon. On the day of the test, the researcher must do the following before introducing variable into the test room. Procedure. Secure the passage that connects the living room and the test lab. 2. Block all passages that lead to other rooms. 3. Set up a lost and found box in the middle of the passage. Place doll H inside. 4. Leave a notice in plain view that states contact staff if you've lost something. 5. Move the variable from the living room to the test lab. 
Six, along the way, ensure the variable notices doll H and lost and found and observed for the reaction. Seven, wait for the variable to express interest in the doll before providing it. Eight, immediately take away the given doll. Give another doll of identical appearance, but with increased weight. Seven, nine, observe how heavy of a doll the variable can ingest over time. Wait, did they just keep giving her heavier and heavier dolls until that she made her? They made her really strong. Is that how they made a? Is that how they they got uh, somebody obsessed with cute things to get powerful? What? Ensure the variable will gravitate to the doll without explicit instruction to do so. The weight of the doll can be adjusted by pulling the wire set on the wall. Max weight allowed allowed is two tons. They were measuring her strength by having her hug a giant, heavy doll. Apparently, evaluation two of two. Place variable into a pit with no lifting device. Observe the maximum vertical height the variable can ascend by on pure physical power. Lead the variable into a 4 meter diameter, diameter cylind cylindrical pit. No lifting devices are within said pit. The variable must escape the pit with inherent physical power. In order to ensure a critical situation requiring the variable's escape, no food or water will be given. If the variable succeeds in climbing or jumping out of the pit, prepare a deeper pit. Observe and record the limits of the variable's capacity to enhance motor skills, taking into account the possibility of said ability strengthening under cer critical circumstances. The variable does not need to be given food or water for up to three days. Ah! They were just testing her situation there. There's other other ones too here. Unknown organism. The bizarre entity whose appearance was previously reported has returned. This time, he was sighted in Area B2. These mysterious organisms seem aggressive. Shortly after its appearance, it assaulted a nearby researcher. The victim's current condition is unknown. If left alone, these beings may hinder the construction of the TOF. Once I've sent this email, I'll escape the area for the time being and head outside. Requesting a subjugation squad deployed against said organism and a research team for the staff that have come into contact with it. End. High energy field. Specimen 08A itself appeared to be releasing large amounts of some sort of energy into the air around it. The specimen currently exists in an environment of a constant, highly concentrated cloud of said energy. At times, solid objects emerge from the more highly concentrated areas of the energy field, though it seems improbable the form of these objects seems to be affected by the memories of those in its immediate vicinity. A guard station nearby the specimen has discovered an elaborate replica of a toy he apparently held dear in his childhood. Putting aside the main objective to the of TOF for the moment, a plan to voluntarily make use of his energy has been suggested and summarily approved. That might be it for now. Oh, Fate Material. Fate Materia. File 01, 1991. After long years of research, we have discovered that the planet has been repeatedly faced with the crisis of possible extinction, and each time disaster has been averted by some kind of counteraction by the very planet itself. Like an immune system of a staggering cosmic sta scale, the Earth has created some kind of innate defense system to protect itself from threats. We have decided that this miraculous element, this physical manifestation of the Earth's own will, shall be named Fate Materia. Four years later, we've succeeded. After these long years of investigation, we have finally confirmed the physical existence of the theoretical ma ma uh, miracle matter known as Fate Materia. The twelve materia, once dormant and scattered across the world, are now under close surveillance. Soon, they'll be used as crucial research materials. Until now, the fate materia have been barely more than a myth we've been chasing. Now they're in the hands of humanity, we can choose to use them. How we choose to use them may change the course of humanity forever. After all, they hold within them the power to change the world. Okay, let's review something real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's what I thought. Okay. So I believe there are twelve people on the entire planet that have special powers. These eleven characters and the end. That's all of them. They just said there's twelve fate materia. That really makes it clear as far as I can tell. It's these eleven characters and the final boss dude that's against us. It makes perfect sense. And now we're killing each other off, and taking their materia, and stacking them inside of ourselves. Which is alarming, in its own right.